morning market chameleon.com i'm adam that's will what's up my man hey brother looks a little rainy up there jersey it is it is a f- little bit of a monsoon which is nice because it's like been i don't know 10 straight days in the 90s so oh. Oh, yeah, I saw you on the bridge running. or Were you running or what were you doing, man? Getting your exercise in? I was crawling. You, By that point, I was in a crawl. You got to work off that giant cup of coffee, dude. How many calories is that? Is that a Frappuccino, man? It's 18,000 calories, dude. <laughs> Look at that. That was the extra, I love their, extra, those Dunkin' extra, extra large are fantastic, man. I love those, man. DNKN, love that stock. Man, love awesome. it. All right, everybody. Remember, Will, why don't you go ahead and bring up your screen. Option trading, all trading is risky, guys. There's the disclaimer. You got to be careful out there. You got to do your research. Don't blame us if things go sideways, as they often will, my friends. They often will go sideways. You got to be smart with your money. What do you got for us today, bro? You got to do your research is what you got to (laughs) do. Make sure you're not on a 110-degree day biking up a hill uh, (laughs) over a bridge. Dude, that hill's only like what? I mean, the, the that bridge, what's it, elevation like 150 feet? Yeah, you go from z- from sea level to about 150 feet. You you are correct. Let's let's just say you're not exactly climbing Everest, dude. No, no, <laughs> nowhere in the northeast are you climbing Everest. But it was uh, it was hot. It was hot, and I did. I don't know if you watched, but there was a lady who passed me as I was doing uh, my little live tweet. Yeah. Uh, is it a periscope? Is it still a periscope? I don't think so. <laughs> they do call it ter- periscope, but it's just Twitter, man. They actually Twitter well, periscope does have a separate app, but nobody uses it because you can do it. right. Love that Twitter. Twitter. She well, anyways, I had passed her coming up the hill and I stopped and she, when she passed, she whispered, I got you. <laughs> what, does that, what does that mean? She passed me. She oh, she me. got you like she pe- you burn. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, I'm scrolling down here this morning and your beloved Netflix. My beloved. No, dude, man, I've been out Netflix for a while, man. Come on. I mean, you were like when we first talked about it, you were talking about the strength of their moat and how great <laughs> <you're>, they <laughs> You lie. Why are you trying to get me in trouble, man? They got no moat, people. They got no moat. Well, it looks and people like are starting here. lobbing bombs in there. Disney just lobbed, lobbed a couple big bombs in there. The wall is what cracking. Bomb? What bombs are those? the uh, Aladdin bombs and the, you know, how many different properties, dude, how smart is that star Wars play looking right now for Disney? I mean, wow. Pretty, pretty smart. Pretty darn smart. I mean, all that is, is what they pay a billion dollars or whatever, dude, they got that guarantees them movies for the next hundred years, man. It's just a never ending stream, you know? We have a mutual friend, a 50-year-old man. Well, he's not 50. He's younger than me, uh, younger than you. But, uh, I mean, he is a Star Wars aficionado. He described himself as a climber, a fish fish follower, and <laughs> fa- father of, you know, wonderful father and husband. I was like, who are you talking and, about? No, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and Star Wars, you know, aficionado. Star I mean, Wars. so there are there is a large swath. Dude, of who in our age society. group doesn't? have fond memories of star wars i mean you didn't grow up you weren't born in this late 60s and 70s if uh you know if you don't have something for star wars man all i remember is standing in line <laughs> no, was, no 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 no, you didn't stand in line you had the idea of standing in line dude our parents didn't take us so that thing was well well worn <laughs> oh you say we didn't go we didn't stand i'm saying we weren't going on opening night man wait, no way wait. dude <laughs> That was only seen on the news? That, that was on us. the news, dude. We went when it was like our parents finally got shamed into not taking us to the movie. <laughs> uh, that, I mean, it's funny how memories, you know. You have one memory, I have another. Yeah, you ways. remember the lines from the TV, from like the news programs. <laughs> we weren't waiting in line. <laughs> gotcha. All right, my bad. Anyways, Netflix, be aware. It could go lower. There's some opportunities here to put on a uh, yeah. credit call spread uh, with the theoretical edge we like, win rates. Scroll down a little, brother. Cushion. I can't see that, man. So so what do you what you feel like uh, the properties that Netflix have? Let's just take them one by one. So number one, uh, Disney. Let's say I'll say, okay, I'll be, I'll be Disney. You be Netflix. Ready? I'm Disney. Okay, ready? Star Wars. Now you go. Uh, we just lost friends. 
<laughs> That's a good property. We just lost friends. <laughs> we have friends for another year. <laughs> okay, I have Little Mermaid. What do you got? We just lost the office. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, man. Exactly. What do they got? No, Orange is Orange is the new black. Is their hot property? I have no idea what their hot properties yeah, are. Yeah, man. Zero. I, I, it's. I, I mean, we from the beginning. I as we spoke about this, that was the big risk is producing. It is extremely expensive, and which Disney's done right buying Star Wars. You know, consuming other people's properties the last you know decade. Uh, really? Yeah. Right. I mean that. Mar who owns Marvel? Is that uh I think it's Disney. Or I don't know, maybe it's a partnership with Disney. I have to look. Viacom, who knows? But you you own these properties, it, it is a big deal. Yep. Uh creating them Toy is, Story. Creating them is almost a Incredibles. Dead man I mean one thing we could look at with Netflix. And Netflix is like, what do they have? Orange is the new button. <laughs> That's hot. I must admit, I just watch the trailers a couple times a week. <laughs> Anyways, let's go on to something more interesting and yes. revolves around Europe and the UK. Boris Johnson just accepted the nomination for the Conservative Party. Full on breakfast. Uh, did I say just say breakfast? Breakfast, dude. <laughs> I think Wait, I what's the, what are the scale? What are you tipping the scales at right now, man? No, I'm, I'm still I'm still going the right direction. You are. Uh, I am. Yes. Even right. though I've been traveling and haven't been able to get to the gym as much, I've I've been watching my intake. Uh, but Brexit is uh, really on the not that it hasn't been on the table, but this is a you know a Brexiteer. I mean, he's one of the loudest voices about leaving the uh, UK, uh, EU. Mm -hmm. So you just want to make make sure you do your screens, keep an eye on. I mean, I'm looking at the UK ETF right here. I just, I did a screen. There was nothing. It's in a, a mid range of its 52 uh, week range uh, at $32. I, I, I did look at the pound though. I mean, this could have some impact on the pound. I, I did a bearish screen for the pound. I don't know where you'd play the pound here. I play it bullish, man. You're bullish here? Yeah. Totally uh, wrong, probably, people. Totally wrong. I would say the the pound ends up uh, having a little bit of a problem myself. But yep. anyways, there's some bearish plays in the pound. There you go. For for you, I will look at the bullish side. Nothing on the bullish side, which Nothing. probably means more people are playing the bullish side. Yep. So do what you want. Next thing I uh, looked at was the pre-market. Uh, what was moving in the pre-market? Uh, well, so was that Baba we, that's moving in the pre-market? We had Baba. The SPY was up. Uh, I just did some quick uh, looks for some bullish credit spreads. There are quite a few in SPY. Uh, you can juggle the win rate around, the win rate, get anything above 70%, narrow that down. Still, there are 441 entries with win rates above 70%. So theoretical edge, win rates, cushion if the stock, well, in this case, it's a broad market, 500 largest stocks in the US ETF goes down, and that's your return. If it sits where it is, if it goes up, you rate to do better. So SPY was one. Apple is also, what I looked at in the pre-market is actually stocks that breached their prior day high. Yep. So uh, Apple was another one, and I'm not, so bullish Apple, but if I were to play it, I would, I would tend to play with a spread uh, rather than just go buying the stock. So I did yep. screen an Apple. By the way, I, I just heard, I just read an article about um, how some apps have started bypassing the App Store on both Play and Apple for their payment structure. Have you heard this thing? I haven't. So it was, I want to say, what's the, maybe it was Tinder or one of the dating apps, uh, you know. Wait, wait, is that a dating app or just like a disgusting uh, hookup app? <laughs> no, I, isn't Tinder? I don't know, man. I'm married, dude. I don't, I don't do this stuff. But supposedly the app stores, Google Play Store and Apple um, Store 
uh, charge, you know, basically like 30% uh, fee. Thir- for 30%. 30 Yeah, I had no idea it was that high. 30 right? So if you pay a subscription that's like, service. That's like, you've cr- that's like you've created the app. I, it, hello? Exactly. That's why people are I'm, calling for the app store to be pulled away from these companies, man. That's why, dude. Because it's a total, it's a rigged system. Look, I mean, just look at look at the most basic. Break them, break them up. I say, break them up. Break them up. Break them up. I mean, if dude, it should be if you're an app store. I mean, realistically, if you're looking at it from a monopolistic practice, they're an app store, so they house all the apps as a place to sell apps. But then, of course, they put their app right at the top. So if you're an Apple Music, right, that app, if you type in music in the search bar, guess what comes up first? Apple uh, music, right? And then they're taking 30% from Spotify and all the rest of the players, right? It's, it's almost impossible to compete. Almost impossible. So these companies <clears throat> uh, started with, I guess, Netflix. Um, but now, I guess, Tinder uh, is making it possible to pay within the app itself, which I guess is a game changer. Netflix used to just drive you to a payment page uh, in an external website. But um, now they're starting to basically push the button and make it available in the app, which is it's going to be interesting to see if Apple and Google really fight back and actually just kick because they could really kick the apps out of the app store because they're they're bypassing their payment structure. Um, but I don't believe they will because I, I think they're super concerned about um, getting labeled as a monopoly and having so the government. Let me come ask after. you this: what What's the keep? I mean, anyone I thought could put their apps on Apple Store. Sure. Uh, so anything that's free, Apple puts it on. They don't. Do they well, charge the producer or the app? If it's you have free? to. You have to sign up for a developer account. I think I, I can't remember. I think Apple might have been might have been free for a developer. I, I've done it before. You know, I built apps, but there was definitely for like Google Play. There was like a hundred bucks a year or something fee uh, for developers. But <clears throat> yeah, you can do free, of course, but these the, if you're charging for something uh that yeah they take a 30 percent vig man very 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 interesting <laughs> but you can I see do. how that just i mean from a comp- competition standpoint uh it is just not a level playing field at all that may, right that may be bullish for i apple. think it's I probably no bullish apple absolutely I no man. idea Yep. Oh, the Apple, such a good guy protecting your data, but squeezing, squeezing. Oh, just squeezing. The, imagine they basically own 30, yeah, 30% of all. And that, it's not like, that's top line. That's the top line that's revenue, like man. That's 30% a off the top. corner loan shark right Dude, there, Dude, give boy. every business I've ever shark. owned, 30% off the top. I'd love that to make that amount of money. That'd be ridiculous. Dude, any business you've ever owned, if you had to pay 30%. No, if I could top, take, just as the owner, if I could take 30% off the top, it would have been the best business. business ever. Ever. I don't know what business can survive. It's amazing you can survive. Exactly. If you're paying 30% off the top. Exactly. I mean, what, you know, so few businesses have those type of margins. It's yep. uh, incredible. Maybe one of them that does is Bob. I'm not saying it does or it doesn't. I have no idea. But this stock also is trading through yesterday's high. Uh, again, this was a stock we talked about a lot uh, in the heated early days of the uh, trade war. And uh, it's had a nice bounce back. It's not at its 52-week high. It's about $20 off. But if you want to play it to a you know a continued bullish move, I would play with a spread. So you know you're downside and you're not married to a $175 stock. Yep. There you go. Plenty of. Well, I still. I mean, you gotta love Apple and Google, right? I mean, the, the the discoverability. How do I find something when you control that, which they do? Oh man. And it's and they're and it'll be really good when they start charging thirty percent off the top. Who? App Google to show up in their search. Oh. You know they could they could do that, right? Right oh. now, it's supposed to be based on some sort of algorithm. Well, what happens when the variable they add is? The money payment. I mean, they do it for ads right now, but yeah, it's uh, you know, you're, you're supposed to believe the search is the most relevant to you as the you mm-hmm. know person doing the search, but things could very, very easily change. Yep. Well, I mean, you know, I'm not a big step. government guy, but this is when government would need to step in. But I do believe that even if they did step in and bre- do a breakup like what we're talking about. 
that's incredibly valuable for Google and, and Apple. They get, they get paid, right? If you, I mean, if you own the Apple shares or the Google shares, you, are you going to do worse? No way. You're going to do way better. Way better. Way better? You think? Yeah. Imagine they break up Google into you know a bunch of different companies. You have the Play Store. You have the developers. Oh, my God, man. It's just like, make it rain, man. Make it By rain. the way, I don't know. Just, just on a side note, that now that I'm looking at it, all excited about opportunities. If you tr this drop down here, there are lots of opportunities set up by the King Chameleon. Awesome for different uh, drop downs. Why I haven't been using them, I have no idea. Because uh, <laughs> you still got your save, my saved presets, and you're like, maybe mine are better. No, they're not, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's got great ones in there, man. I'm gonna look at the mid caps. I don't think they've. Positive edge, downside cushion. Whoa, where, where, what happened? Oh, dude, Edward just came up with a great one. MAGA, right? MAGA hats, right? But no, it's Microsoft, Apple, Google, Amazon. Oh, oh MAGA. I don't know if the, Edward may be banned from the show. I don't know if we can get... Where, that kid, he couldn't have made that up, man. Ed's not smart enough to make that up. That is too good, no, man. No, Ed, Ed's pretty sharp. Really? Ed. Wow, that is like tight, man. Ed How come I've never heard that? I'm going to tweet about that today. There must that must have been out there, man. You're going to have to pay Ed to tweet about it. You can't just take his ideas. Does he, get, he gets a thirty percent royalty on every tweet. <laughs> well, if you tweet it out, we'll send Ed. Supposedly, there are rumors that T-shirts may be coming. We'll yep. send Ed a T-shirt if no. they come. Ed, if That's they no, come, no, out. no promise. Uh, no way. Like, isn't Ed in Canada, man? Oh no. Yeah, but the T-shirts we have easier shipping conditions. Oh, really? Is that I, true? I can I can stuff those into <laughs> easy envelopes. There'll be no breakage. You can't break a T-shirt. All right. Maybe that will bring Jake back into the into the realm. <laughs> bring him back from Europe. Uh, Jesus, what was I looking at next? That got me all all flustered. I, oh, I was I screened for news in the pre-market. Yeah. And uh, I was looking for some maybe some bearish plays and. Ooh, Hog just popped up. That must have been Harley announced. Can't be good. It's down. Broke yesterday's uh, low. Looks like a 4% change. So anyways, I was going to do a screen for this CNC, mm -hmm. which also uh, reported their second quarter. Sorry, that's a bullish. I was looking at some bearish ideas. And so there were a few yesterday to put on a bear spread in uh, CNC. I'm actually going to look at Hog right now. Now that that jumped up, I didn't see that. Hog. How are they doing with their, electric, with their electric motorcycles? Yeah, I don't know if that's the play. I mean, it seems no, like it Hog. It doesn't seem like it all, man. It seems like Hog is a, a brand that should stick with their uh, yeah. demographic. I but, feel like it. Yep. Like, they should make it more dirty. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say it's dirty. I mean, it's... Like, more it's polluted. Well, dude, it's it's noise polluting, right? I mean, I can hear those things. People drive them here, you know. I, you know, you hear them two miles away, you know, into the... Well, they're on the highway, you hear them. I mean, it's just incredible. Incredible. I mean, you hear them at your house, dude. How, how many... You're like, what? Half a mile from that main road? You can hear those things chugging along. Yeah, well, they love one of the great uh, rides for any uh, bikers out there who haven't heard of this. It's a great ride up up the Delaware River on both the Pennsylvania and Jersey side. And so I live pretty close to where uh, there's a loop around Trenton, uh, the old 95, which is now 295, like hooks around Trenton up towards. So you get a lot of off that exit ramp, and that's where they hit it. Yep. So you'll, you're literally a mile from the river. And you'll hear the bikes zip. So if you're on the river, you're really hearing it. Which actually, where we are on the beach, you hear uh, those hogs flying Absolutely, by in the morning man. too. Oh yeah, it's a it's a peaceful sound. It's like being at a <laughs> right on a shooting range. Do you like that? What else you got? What else you got, man? Oh, the earnings calendar. Oh, I see well, a little. Well, CNC and the hog and CNC with the earnings news, we should look at the calendar. I mean, we had talked about Coke and UTX the other day. Yep. Uh, Man, we're I coming in. Look at that. The 25th is 215 reporting. Big day.
lots of earnings. You should be aware of it. This the KO was interesting because it's up this morning. When we looked at it, you know, one of the things four in a row one week after. Mm -hmm. It's up uh, four in a row one and a half percent. Not saying it's going to be there this time, but if you feel like there's going to be follow through, take a look at some bullish spreads today. The balls will be in. There may be some opportunities. Uh, <laughs> there were lots yesterday. Uh, well, lots. There were a, a total of eight. So there we go. Uh, UTX. Uh, I thought this was interesting. Five in a row, average price change up 3.2%. There it is this morning, up 2.5%. We'll see where it opens at, you know, today. Yep. So you could also do a screen in there uh, if you think there's going to be fall through on the bullish side. There were a few yesterday. So there's your daily morning show, buddy. There you go, man. Woo. UTX. Hey, everybody, uh, head on a swivel. Uh, I'm traveling, going to the Caribbean tomorrow. Will's, I don't know where. He's going to Florida. We're flying around. We're all over. So we're out the rest of the week, man. How's no, that I'm, feel, I'm, dude? It's like you're on vacation, man. No, it's it's not. I'm st still working. It's all I am work. too, man. Every day, bro. So we're not going to see you guys work. till Monday. <laughs> But we, hey, if you want to catch, you still want to catch some info. Will, of course, just follow us on our um, Facebook page. Will is there all day long, bringing the heat. Will's going to do some lives on the Facebook. So go over to Facebook, search Market Chameleon. You can find us there. And uh, have a great trading week. Wait, and is it true next Monday is our anniversary show? We're going to have a major surprise on the anniversary show. But really? That sounds amazing. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> I'm hearing this new theme song that's been worked on. Oh, jeez. You're giving me work to do, man. <laughs> oh, it's not Monday. It's August 1. All right, let's do it for Monday, man. I'll get it done. I'll get it done. So surprise theme song coming Monday. Awesome. All Can't right. Wait. Have a great trading week, everybody. We, we will see you on lunes, Monday. Later.